Hey guys, welcome back. Today I filmed this makeup tutorial on the look that I had on in my November favorites video. I know that was so long ago, but I've gotten nothing but requests for that look since that video. I actually did film it at the time, but I was using that video for a boyfriend does my voiceover tag, but my boyfriend and I never really got around to filming that portion of the video. So I do have the video still on my old external hard drive, but that actually broke and I can't access anything on it. So I actually did a similar look in my most recent video. What was it? The haul video? In my haul, yeah. But it was a little bit more of a rose gold version of this. But since this one was so highly requested from November and since they're so similar, I decided to do this one. Plus, I feel like this one is a little bit more wearable for everybody. Not really wearable, but I feel like more people would do this more than a rosy one. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy this video please subscribe and let's get started okay so I don't really remember exactly what shades I used in the crease and everything but I do remember what was on my eyelids so I am gonna just use some neutral shades from my favorite palette this is pretty much all the shadows that was in my black and white palette but transferred into this one because it's all glittery and beautimous and I cleaned it I got so many comments before on how dirty my palette was because it was so dirty I'm gonna try my hardest not to drop this because that was my problem before is I dropped it eyeshadows cracked and it was disgusting so I'm gonna go in and use Birkin from Anastasia it's brand new for my palette, this is the third one that I'm on. I'm using E40 and start just blending this into the crease. And I'm slowly just building up this color. I'm gonna take a little bit of Frappe, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna use a Smith 232 brush and do the same thing. Work it in the crease. This is a slightly more like reddish shade, I guess. It's a little bit warmer. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna go in with Tan Lines, which is this center shade here. Use the same brush and pop it in the crease. Anytime you work light to dark like this with the lighter shades behind it and then the darker shades in front, it adds way more depth to the look. If you went in with the dark shade first and then did the lighter shades afterwards, not only would it be harder to blend, but it wouldn't look as seamless and as natural, even if you already blended the shit out of it. You have to work light to dark and it will look kind of like a nice sunset, very gradual and just, it will also do like half the work for you. It's, it's pretty nice to do it that way. Same with like your face. You could do that with bronzer and contouring and stuff. So if you ever have a hard time with stuff blending and you haven't tried this out, Try it out. I'm gonna switch to a more precise brush. It's the 230 from Smith Cosmetics. And I wanna deepen this up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna take Cabin Fever, this shade here. It's a little bit more red and a little deeper. I pick it up on this more precise brush and put this in the crease just a little bit deeper. And I am approaching this from above. You don't wanna go in from below. It will bring it up too high. So come from above and it will be better. I'm adding a little bit more tan lines on that brush to help blend out this shade, which was the previous color that I used. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. It is a bright vanilla sort of shade. Pop right up here. I'm just going to go straight into this powder. I don't know if I need an eyeshadow underneath it. I can't remember how opaque this is. I think it's like hella opaque. This is Nude Gleam from Too Faced. It's one of their pigments. It's one of my favorite colors. To do this, I'm gonna take my 242 brush and some glitter glue. This is the NYX glitter glue. Put that on the back of my hand and then apply it exactly where I'm gonna want that Nude Gleam to go. So all over the lid from the inner corner to the outer corner and up into the crease. And this, I'm gonna work one eye at a time. Now I'm gonna pick up the Nude Gleam and I'm gonna pop that right on top. Yes, just like that. <laughs> Alrighty. Now I do remember going over it with this Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay. I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do my eyeliner first 
because if you go over your eyeliner on top of this, it can be very, very difficult. And this is very precise, so you can pretty much place this wherever you want without like messing up your eyeliner or anything like that. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner first instead. I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner. You are new. This is my favorite gel liner in the world. It is the best. Liner does get goopy, so I'm gonna take some Duraline from Inglot and put it inside of it. This basically just like reactivates the liner and makes it so that it's more fluid and easy to work with. Okay, now that the liner is done, I can go in with the glitter liner from Urban Decay and you wanna make sure that this dries before you open up your eye because if you open up your eye before it dries, it's just gonna transfer and get a little sloppy. So you wanna look down into your mirror and I'm just kind of dotting it around. This isn't really like needed since the other stuff is so glittery and sparkly, but I just feel like it adds that extra little pop. I'm gonna apply some mascara to my top lashes. I'm gonna put some lashes on top of this. They're gonna be very dramatic lashes because they're the only ones I have here that were like halfway clean. I don't know what the name of these lashes are. I know they're from Velour Lashes, but when I'm filling out the information box for this video, I'll link it down below and write what the name is in case you're curious. They are extremely like thick, especially at the band, so I don't know. I do need to fix the lash line where the glue ends up drying because I know that I didn't get these like totally as clean as I possibly could. So at the end of the video, I will touch up the liner and make it extra black. All right, for my face, I'm gonna use the Photo Finish Light Primer from Smashbox. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. Let me know if you guys wanna see a review on this foundation. I've used it like four times now. I'm liking it. Blend it in with my beauty blender. And then for concealer, I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer recently. It's just my go-to. I do have the uh, Tarte, what is it, the Shape Tape. I could use that. I just feel like it's very full coverage, like very full coverage. Let's try it. I'm going to add a little bit of the Shape Tape in here because it is like... Whoa. I do not know how people take Shape Tape and cover this entire area with it. It's like, I, I just don't know where the product goes because even putting on that much was like intense. Like I even put too much on. I'm gonna set the under eye area with the MAC Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder. This light, bright white shade here. And I'm gonna bring this underneath the eyes. Just set this concealer in here. And I'm setting my face with the Charlotte Tilbury powder in number two. For my bronzer today, I'm gonna use the Pro Fusion Bronze Bronzer from Makeup Forever. Looks like this. I love this. And I'm gonna apply this with my Smith 112 brush. This is a very natural looking bronzer. It's not gonna be like overboard. It's gonna look like you naturally have it on. I've seen some comments saying that this is just like doesn't show up on people. I have the darkest shade and as you can see it's very subtle compared to this side but you kind of have to like use the right brush and play with it a little bit to see how it works for you. And then to contour I'm going to use the Infidelity uh, contour powder from Makeup Geek and my NARS Eda brush. I'm going to type that in and work this in here. I'm gonna do my nose contour with the JD Wadey 180 Luxie brush. That might be a little bit too harsh, but whatever, I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna use the Heat Wave highlighter from Estee Lauder. Everybody keeps telling me that there is this glitter overlay and that it's not actually glittery and after you use it a lot, it should come out and be normal. I feel like if you're gonna buy a product, it's gotta be good right away. How are people supposed to know that there's a glitter overlay? But I've used this like four or five times. Still is very glittery and chunky. I'm gonna try it again today on camera. We'll see how this goes. And I've been using different brushes each time too to see if like that would change. But so I'm gonna like dig in here actually. See what happens. That wasn't bad. It's still glittery. There's still glitter chunks, but at least now it's highlighting. I did like really dig in there though. Woo! Okay, if you dig your brush in, it works. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger to apply it 
to the nose and the cupid's bow. All right, so that worked. I like really like dug into it with my brush, like and now it's actually showing up and it looks like my cheekbones are like wet, which that's what I'm going for. So maybe this can stay, maybe it can stick around. If you have this problem with your highlighter, try really digging your brush in and maybe that will really get that overlay off. Tr like truthfully, when they do that, that really pisses me off. I don't like when companies do that, but whatever, they did it. Underneath is Heat Wave. But again, this is my fifth time trying it. Maybe if I would have dug in a little bit more to scrape that layer off, then maybe it would have worked. But yeah, you can see it too. Like you can see over here is where I dug into the product. And then over here is where it's still a little chunky glittery and you can see the actual sparkles. Interesting. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Starlet Powder from Makeup Forever just because I want a little bit more of a white-ish cast to this. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. While I have this product out, before I forget, I want to use this baby brush that I have if I can find it. It is the Crown C527 brush. It is super, super tiny. I'm gonna use this and spray it with some setting spray. And I wanna pop this right on the inner corner of my eye. All right, I'm feeling extra glowy today. I'm feeling much happier about both of these products after using them more. So now, I'm gonna apply my blush. I don't remember the name. I think it's Gingerly or something. I don't know. I'll write it down below in the um, description box because I'll remember later. I'm gonna apply this with this brush. It's the 168 brush from MAC. Since everything else is so glowy, I want my blush to be more matte. Okay, and then before I forget, I'm gonna use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and I'm gonna spray this right on the cheekbones. Moving back to this whole eye area situation, I'm gonna take a small brush. Where is it? It's the same one I always use. Here it is. The Flat Definer Brush from Sigma. And I'm gonna take Cabin Fever, which was the last shade that we used. It's more of the like reddish shade. And I'm putting this very, very closely to the lash line, all the way in to the inner part. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of tan lines and go right underneath that. Oh, let's drop this freaking palette. Oh my gosh. Right underneath that. This is a uh, Crown C511 brush. It's a fluffy brush that's like identical to the Sigma E25 and the MAC 217 brush, a brush like that, you know? I'm gonna pick up some of the Birkin and go right underneath and just buff this out. And now I don't remember if I used black or brown eyeliner. I think I used black. I don't remember. What do I feel like doing right now? Let's do black. I almost never line my waterline with black eyeliner. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm using the Ardency In Black Eyeliner. These are my favorite eyeliners for the waterline. Um, well, actually, that's not true. I actually really like the Immel. The Rimmel Scandalized Nude Liner. That's the only one that I have, but I wanna get more colors because that one's really good. So, but from like Sephora, these are my favorite. Oh man, I pray that my eyes do not water. They're feeling very watery tonight for some reason. Okay, I have to line them down here in the mirror because if I do it up here, the lights make my eyes water. So I'm gonna do it down here. Before that dries, cause I got a little bit in the lash line, I'm gonna use this brush, smudge it right there, very closely into the lashes. Not trying to bring it down too far. I'm just wiggling it in the lashes so that this kind of melts together into one fade you know and then you can get like this outer corner over here where it's connecting to the liner you know that real good and now you can go in with any of the other brown shades to help blend that but don't bring it too far down keep it up nice and tight tight like a tiger yes you are tight like a tiger Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this freckle that got covered up with concealer, um, especially that Shape Tape concealer that covers up everything. This is the NYX Eyebrow Marker. It's my favorite product for this. It looks the most natural, um, so gonna do that. Okay, I'm just adding my mascara to the bottom. I love 
love to apply a ton of this. For my lips, I do remember what I used. Oh, what is going on? What the heck? All right, I just got black in the crease. I don't know how that happened. So I do remember what lip color I was wearing. I don't remember the lip liner. It was probably Subculture from MAC. But today I'm gonna use the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner Crayon Pencil Type Deal. And um, it's in the color White Russian. So that looks like concealer lips on me. Um, I'm gonna take some of this Bite Beauty number 20 lip pencil and go over some of the edges to deepen them up. And then I do remember that I used this. It's the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the color Stripped. It's like a very moussey gloss. All right, that is it for this video. I'm so happy with the way this look turned out, minus the little black part on my crease, but whatever. I can edit it out in a picture. It doesn't matter. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I'm really in love with the way that this looks, especially my skin. I feel like it looks so buttery and so smooth, and I think that it's because of just the products that I use together. I'm just really happy with it, and I'm also very relieved that this heat wave highlighter ended up working out. I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. So Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your requests in the comment section. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.